Hey guys, welcome to Maverick Meteor. This is my second time melting copper. Today I'm going to weigh all of the scrap before melting, then I'll weigh the ingots after melting to see if there's any difference in weight. I want to know if there's any loss in the melting process. The total scrap weight is 3 pounds 5.1 ounces. Okay, let's get melting and see what happens. Here's the pile of scrap ready to melt. I'll melt the batch in the crucible first, then add the other pieces later. This looks like a lot, but once it's all melted into liquid, the crucible will only be about half full. I put a piece of cardboard at the bottom of the furnace. This burns up forming a layer of carbon between the bottom of the furnace and the crucible. If I don't use the cardboard, the crucible will fuse to the bottom of the furnace, and that will be bad. Alright, let's light it up. Once the oxygen valve is open, the flame moves inside the furnace, and it sounds like a jet engine. I'll let in a little more oxygen. We're about five minutes in, and the copper still looks the same. I'll throw the molds on top to preheat them. We're at 10 minutes now. The copper is glowing, but not melted. Thirteen minutes in, and some of the copper is starting to melt. Now that some of the copper is melted, there's room to add a little bit more. Oops, almost missed this little piece. Wouldn't want him to be lonely. At 29 minutes, most of the copper is molten, and you can see it starting to bubble. I'll add the last of the copper scrap, and then we'll be ready to pour.
All of the copper is completely molten now. Molten copper is mesmerizing. It bubbles and swirls around and looks like golden lava. Okay, time to go pour some ingots. I have three ingot molds ready. Do you think there's enough copper to fill all three? That's almost two full molds. I'm happy with that. Both of the ingots are solidified right now. From starting the furnace to solid ingots took about 37 minutes. Both of the molds and ingots are still around 700 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'll let them cool down and come back later. I'm not sure what's up with this dude. He's been happily hanging out on the pouring table for the entire video. Looks like everything is under 400 degrees now, so it should be cool enough for me to touch. Awesome. Those are some beautiful bars of pure copper. These are the best ingots I've made so far. I'll put the ingots on the scale and see if I lost anything in the melting process. Picking up a solid bar of copper feels a little strange. The density of copper is about 14% greater than steel, so they feel much heavier than they look. I'm shocked to see that both ingots weigh 3 pounds 5 ounces. That means we only lost 0.1 ounce in the melting process. I'm surprised. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click like and subscribe. This will help me continue to build and improve this channel. Here's one more shot of the pour in slow motion. See you next time.